Hello to the nation. Hello to the nation, Dark PlayStation Nation here talking to you guys over another episode of How to Twitch, guys. I know this has been a while since my last episode, but I will leave a link to the playlist for the other ones in the description. That would be how to do a stream with the click of one single button to launch all your other software, as well as how to configure OBS and actually how to download and install OBS as well. In this episode, we're going to be talking a little bit about T-Board, and in the next episode, we're going to be talking about Twitch alerts. So make sure you guys subscribe for that if you guys want to see more about these two guys right here so that'd be the twitch alerts dashboard and the twitch alerts app so in this one we're going to be talking about tboard tboard for those of you who don't know is quite the interesting application if you guys would like to install it uh tboard can be found in the links in the description you guys will get this link obsproject.com slash forum slash users slash tboard point four five uh, all you guys need to do is simply go down, look through all of this stuff, make sure you read a decent amount of this, uh, and then um, basically, uh, once you guys get down a little bit, you guys are going to be able to see the updates for this, so you guys can uh, go with the betas like I have, uh, or you guys can go with the default version, which is going to be right there. So the download now button right there, super easy. The next thing that you guys are going to need is the CLR browser plugin. Now the CLR, a CLR browser plugin is a little bit more complicated to install you guys are going to need to install a few quick things so let's full screen this for a second you guys are going to need to download uh, the chromium app so either 32-bit or 64-bit depending on your processor as well as your uh, as well as your version of OBS so make sure if you have 64-bit or it's not your processor your operating system so make sure if you have 64-bit operating system you also have 64-bit uh, OBS and you download the 64-bit uh, link that's catchexception.org slash blah 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 uh, so make sure you guys are going to download that once you download that that'll be the actual uh, CLR source plugin like that the next thing you guys are going to download is you guys are going to want to open up this link right here make sure you download the 64-bit or 32-bit version for your particular version you probably already have that installed but just to be safe make sure you do that uh, then you're going to need to download one of these cache exception uh, links right here for the V credit slash 2013 uh, V credit underscore x86 or x64 again 32 or 64 bit and then finally you're going to need dotnet 4.5.2 so for web install simply do that and then for offline install simply do that so that's all you're going to have to do uh, and then I'll even link this in the description for your um, install tutorial so how to actually install uh, OBS plugins so the way that you're going to install OBS plugins is first install all those things that I told you to download Mode. And then when this CLR browser source plugin is actually done complete, we're going to cancel that one for now. All you guys are going to have to do is go to C colon slash program files x86 OBS uh, plugins, or if you're on a 64 bit operating system, just program files OBS plugins. So for instance, if I were to go like this, I went to my file explorer, I'm going to open up my uh, local disk. Uh, I will bring this over so that you guys can actually see this. But say I'm here, I'm going to scroll down to my OBS like so, because I run a 64 bit It is just simply in there. And then you guys can see my plugins. And in my plugins, we have the CLR host plugin, CLR host plugin folder, uh, and all the other various files that will be required for that. So anyway, that's where you guys are going to have to install them. It gives you the link right here for how to install them. And you just simply have to drag and drop them in there. So just make sure you guys get all those down downloads because that's the most difficult part about this entire process. Once you do that, uh, you will be able to use Tboard. Now we're going to open up Tboard and I'm going to go through the login process for you. Also, you guys will need Adobe Air. Uh, make sure you guys do install Adobe Air. The link there, uh, the link was on that page that I just showed you. So the first thing you guys are going to need to do is you guys are actually going to need to connect with your Twitch account. So that's going to require Twitch authorization. You're simply going to need to uh, log into your Twitch account. So my, in my case, that's Dr. PlayStation. I'm going to have to type my password in here right now. There we go. Authorization finished. Close. Boom. You're done. That is it. And now you have all of the tools that uh, T-Board has to offer. T-Board is the Twitch army knife. It is an awesome application that I definitely suggest. Not only do you have this dashboard feature, so you can add multiple accounts. So say you have a ton of different Twitch accounts. This makes it really easy. You don't need to worry about logging in and out of various uh, Chrome instances and stuff like that, or keeping one of them logged in on Internet Explorer, one of them on Opera, one of them on uh, Mozilla, one of them on whatever. You can just simply have all your instances logged in here. Then you, it'll give you your link here so you can actually just click on the watch link to watch you can click on the chat link it'll open up you know a t-board chat window here that'll show your chat you can also open 
open up this to open up your Twitch page. Then we're going to have the title. So, and again, watch is just going to be the pop out of your actual stream, which we won't show. Then you're going to have the actual title. So you can change your title through here, which is quite interesting. The one downside of this is actually going to be that with the games, um, when you start typing something in, it will give you a pretty big list of games to auto complete that but not as big as through twitch so sometimes you know for uh let's see if they actually fixed it so super smash smash yeah super smash brothers brawl isn't there and then if you go to the console um here uh you guys will see that it is a nintendo es uh so i would assume that's nintendo entertainment system um playstation 4 xbox one so they do have those and pc but there there is no you know wii u specifically nintendo 3ds all that sort of stuff so anyway that is the downside of it then we have you know your commercials so if you want to run commercials you can automatically do that and then auto run every 60 minutes so that's an option that you guys have for those of you who are partnered then we're going to have your stream stats. So say we were streaming, it would start at this time. So this time would be 7 p.m. And then from here, you would be able to see how many viewers you have and how they fluctuate over time. Um, so pretty much you can update it every five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, whatever. It's pretty cool. I really do like that. The next thing is actually going to be your notification widgets. So your notification widgets are pretty cool. So right now I have 4,217 followers. You can actually use T-Board to properly pop up these notifications. So this is quite interesting. I really do like it. I personally decide to go with an alternative. I go with Twitch alerts. I go with Twitch alerts to notify uh, for my followers and stuff. You can use T-Board. It's a very easy fix to do. All you guys are going to need to do is um, use the CLR uh, plugin in order to do that. I told you guys how to install that. I will show you guys how to use the CLR plugin to do other things. But as of right now, if you guys see right here, we are going to have our notification and these are gonna be the various files so these are the files that you guys are gonna to have to link if you want to use them in text uh, format so if you guys want to link these you can actually um, have the text show up uh, very simply on there or you guys can actually link them so that the little pop-ins happen as well so for instance you can have a sound that plays the volume that plays I have that off um, I have this on but I actually don't use it for anything um, and then you can also change the formatting so you can do blank is now following the channel you guys have probably seen this used before then you're going to have your subscribers so I don't have my channel partnered so subscribers really isn't an option for me and then finally you have donations so the donations are going to work through stream tips so I'm probably gonna blur out my number there because I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to show that uh, at least I'm you know probably kind of sure um, and then it'll show all of your donations that you can get so as you guys can see I got these donations you can also use this so that it'll pop up and show your donations on screen as well again I use a different service for that I'm actually still use my twitch alerts and I also use the stream tip alerter application to do that so anyway moving on to the next one we have the IRC widgets these are ones that I tech I don't use because I do have better options my bot itself does giveaways my chat uh, I use uh, other pop-out services Services. I use the better uh, Twitch chat uh, plugin through Chrome to use all these things I will go over in future episodes but um, anyway there's that there's also polls that you guys can do so you can ask questions through your chat I personally again don't use these there are better alternatives I personally find what I do find Tboard is most useful for is their misc widgets their countdown clock specifically uh, you have a countdown clock you have a time span clock and you have a chrono clock so those are the the different clocks you have countdown clock counts down from a particular amount of time time span counts down to a particular time so you can set a date and time and then chrono is actually just going to count up and then from there you can enable shadows on your letters you can change the color you can change the background color transparency all that sort of stuff quite cool then we can go to now playing so now playing actually has a lot of support for different things like deezer groove stark uh groove shark sorry radio spotify and this is my jam we can also do things like pandora youtube 22 tracks soundcloud and turntable i personally don't use this again because i do use plug dj uh for my music so that is an al another alternative you can also check out your videos i don't do any recording on my videos because i do use copyright music so they won't uh, have audio in their syndication then we're going to have following so it'll show you who you're following and i don't follow anybody I guess and then finally our misc tools so that's also going to be various tools for uh, inputting your stream resolution so when you want things to pop up this will properly format uh, your resolution so that it'll appear properly you can also calculate your bitrate and various other things so that this is kind of a tool that'll help you so that uh, you don't go over your bitrate so you can do a speed test for your internet and uh, actually figure out exactly how high you can go with resolution and frames and such then you're going to have your token which I'm not 
not gonna show you, you guys are good. This will automatically connect when you sign in. Uh, but if you want to check your IRC token, you can. You have your channel panels, so you can see your channel panels right here. Uh, your channel panels basically are going to be ways of you customizing um, various things that can pop in from the top. So you can pop in different various things that say various things, which is kind of cool. And then your game titles. So again, you can look through your platforms, look for the titles uh, for various games, which is kind of cool. You can also turn on your followers. You can turn on donations. You can turn on now playing. Or sorry, you can turn on IRC chat. I don't want to use any of that. Um, and yeah, so anyway, that is basically how it works. The main thing I like it for is I like it for the countdown. Uh, I guess I didn't show any of this stuff. You actually have a clock so that you can actually write current time using military time or normal time, which is really great. So that's awesome in the case where if I do a UHC or something similar, I can put the time up there and say, hey guys, it's gonna be at 7 p.m. You guys can see what time it is for me without having to ask every time if I'm Eastern time or not. Uh, then you're going to actually have media so you guys can actually add um, various images and gifts and stuff like that to this and you can actually add those you can add videos and stuff like that and be able to apply that through uh, the CLR plugin as well you can also have spectrum so this spectrum I have never used this nor do I ever plan on using this but it's something easy or something cool to have where I guess it's the same thing as media but specifically for audio and then finally the ticker tape the ticker tape is I'm assuming a premium feature uh, to T board or something which I haven't unlocked and the ticker tape is again just going to be a ticker tape which is a supported in the CLR plugin itself. So anyway, how do you set this up? How do you actually get this going? Like, what do you do? Um, so you, your stream key will be automatically copied as you guys see there. You guys are gonna see my accounts. This is the user, it's authorized. I could show you guys my access token if I wanted, but how are you actually going to do this? So I have this CLR, um, you know, set up to use. So once I made that visible, you saw that little black, black box pop up and now it's actually counting up. And that's because we have the chrono time set for, for that particular widget. So if you go countdown chrono, we can also do countdown 10 minutes, hit apply, boom, it's gonna go to 10 minutes and then start counting down. We can also set to count to award a particular time using time span. But I wanna show you guys how to exactly do this. So all you guys are gonna have to do is create a CLR browser uh, object. So once you create that CLR browser object, you are going to have to link um, HTTP colon slash slash absolute slash and then C colon slash users slash, you know, whatever your username is in your documents, in Tboard, in widgets, in countdown um, and all that sort of stuff. So I actually will show you, I will show you, I'm going to open this up and then you guys are going to see that I can actually go to my uh, documents and then I can go to Tboard and then I can go to my widgets and then I can go to my countdown clock because this is going to be my countdown. Uh, you guys can also just do your clock and then link that link that object instead of doing the Tboard dash countdown dot html you do the Tboard dash clock dot html and that would be the clock. Uh, you can also do the giveaways dot html you would also do the media uh, default and then dot html so all those html files again this works through html uh, and then finally you can also read your readme text which is going to show you all the other important information for setting this up so if you can't simply get any of this to work um, then this is your, this is kind of your last resort sort of here before you guys comment down below with your issues so that I can help you out so anyway uh, say we want to do this so we want we want to get the key this so we're gonna we're gonna copy this for now and say I wanted to make this so I'd right click here I want to add and I want to add a CLR browser um, object so I want to add the CLR browser and I want to do CLR browser timer I'm gonna do T board timer like so that T board timer I'm then going to paste that that URL to that particular place I'm gonna hit OK and boom it's going to go and every time I reload this it's actually going to restart from that particular 10 minute countdown which is quite interesting when you want to do timers for things so say I want to do timers every 20 minutes once that timer hits zero I simply just have to do this and it'll restart or I can go down to this countdown over here and then just hit apply again and it'll restart too so that's a, that's pretty interesting it doesn't make you need to do much to really reset anything and it works pretty well so again um, on the uh, the Tboard page it'll show you that this will only work for version 0 0.6 point or 0.60 or higher so that's something to kind of be warranted of hopefully you guys do enjoy actually I'm using OBS right now to record this so hopefully everything worked out and nothing broke but anyway hopefully you guys did enjoy remember to slam that like button down below subscribe to the nation if you already haven't the next video again is going to be on twitch alerts if you guys don't know what twitch alerts are is it's ways of simply getting various alerts and uh, various things added to your minecraft um, when you want them 
going to. So you can change all your little boxes and stuff here too, which is kind of cool. So anyway, hopefully you guys did enjoy. I am the doctor and I'm out. Bye.